What is going on apes and ape bats? My name is Tyler. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going over breaking news with AMC stock that is absolutely game changer, at least throughout the rest of this week, if not throughout the rest of the next couple of weeks. This is big information. You guys have to be fully aware of this because this concept does run a little bit deeper than the surface. So we're going to break down the exact implications of this breaking news. What is going on? We're also just going to give you guys a brief update as far as the Stonko tracker data. Data, the Ortex data and the charts because as you guys do know AMC closed the day up over 7% so obviously a very great day and everything looks to be on the up and up and on the bullish side so let's get into this video drop that like on the video comment down below subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell also make sure to check out the links link down below in the description I did finally start a free discord chat so if you guys want to stay up to date with AMC whenever news does come out or or just talk and be a part of the discussions over there check that out i just made that so it's going to take some time to get everybody in there who wants to be in there also link down below in the description there's a link for public as well as a link for the buy and sell alerts where we send out notifications every time a trade is bought or sold so check all of those links out all right now with that being said let's dive straight into the information of this video and first and foremost with the technical analysis as far as we are looking here obviously looking very good when we we did start trading for today we were at about $34.40 per share we were right above our support level at about $33 per share so we did get a strong break above that now about four dollars away from that currently at $36.78 like I said up 6.89 percent in regular trading for today only up two cents in after hours we did just come down a little bit but we're still positive for after hours now we're really gonna have to break out past about $38.50 before we do get confirmation of this rally and we start to get close to $40 once we do get close to $40 that will be a resistance level if we can cross above that it looks like we might be headed for a huge breakout and once we get closer to actually going over this breaking news and what this actually implies and why AMC is going up today because because it does revolve around this breaking news then you guys will understand why i think this rally is likely to continue so as far as that does look potential downside watch the 33 dollar mark and potential downside as well watch this 50 day moving average which is at 35 dollars 71 cents that is one dollar and five cents drop from where we currently are so i don't think that's going to happen it will be a somewhat level of support if we do go down to there but just watch that level if we do come down to there and fall under that we could get a flush to 33 dollars if not worst case scenario in my opinion we fall back down to that and then bounce back up or hover right around that 50 day moving average and then ultimately head up closer to 40 dollars, if not break out past 40 dollars throughout the rest of this trading week so definitely looking good let's take a look at the volume real quick before we do move on almost 75 million for volume so definitely not the high the uh, definitely not on the higher end of volume that we have seen over the past couple of weeks but nevertheless still good when our relative volume for any given trading day is about 50 to 60 million so definitely an increase in trading volume now let's get into the stock o tracker data and as far as the video for yesterday we did only have 14,000 calls that were in the money now we do have 33,500 and 6,000 that are in the money so that is basically an increase of about 16,000 which equivalent to 1.6 million shares that would have to be bought by market makers so that's not the reason why we are going up today nevertheless it may be adding some level of buying power due to the market makers actually having to hedge all of these calls that are starting to go in the money but it's not a significant amount and we're really not looking for a gamma squeeze until about September 17th. That's our next monthly expiration date for options. And that is when we are likely to see a lot of influence as far as shorting power from the puts potentially going into the money or buying power from the calls going into the money by the market makers that do typically own about 90% of the back end of all options on the whole entire stock market. So that's what you guys need to know here. Not really a big uh, influence is going to be coming from from the puts or the calls going into the money there's just not a lot of options activity as we do typically see on weekly expiration weeks overall 
Now, let's get into the Ortex data. Let's update this briefly. And we did see uh, short interest actually has went up just a little bit from the video yesterday. Current short interest percentage of free flow is at 17.95%. Current shares that are sold short of 91.83 million. So definitely a significant amount. More, more shares that are actually sold short currently than the volume we did see for the whole day. And you see, we went up about 7%. At one point, we were approaching 10% positive for the day. So just imagine if if all of that volume were to only be buys going into the stock. So definitely looking very bullish right there. The, the hedgies, the institutions, they've already digged themselves into a massive hole. Now, the share utilization is at 90.19%, which is, there's a good and bad about this. If you guys have not heard my philosophy about this, I'm going to give you guys the brief rundown. And the share utilization coming down is not necessarily a bad thing. That just means there's more shares available to be sold short. And to see the short interest go up, which we want to see, you have to see more available shares that could be sold short. But on the bad side of this is you're not really seeing the chance of a four share recall situation happening or forcing the shorts to cover. But that's enough of the boring stuff. That's all the information you guys really need to know on a data and factual level. Now let's get into the breaking news situation. And if you guys have heard of this, it's it's... It is what you think it is, but it goes a lot deeper than that, like I said in the beginning of the video. So AMC stock shoots up after FDA approval of COVID vaccine. Now, it says, shares of movie theater operators got a big boost Monday as full approval of COVID-19 vaccine by the Food and Drug Administration helped fuel hopes that increased vaccination rates would bring more people back to the movies. Now, this is very good. This is bullish sentiment. One thing that we do know, bullish sentiment is a great thing, but not really what you guys would think. It really comes down to trading algorithms that account for about 70% of the trading volume of the whole entire stock market or in any given stock. Now, the reason AMC is going up so much is because these trading algorithms are bidding up the stock. So it's not necessarily that people are just flooding back into the stock, which you are having people obviously buying the stock and selling the stock. I would imagine more people are buying the stock on a day we're up so much, but it comes down to the trading algorithms. They are pricing this in. And when they do this, this tends to be a multi-day or a multi-week long event. So that is essentially what is happening. They are pressing the bids up higher. They ultimately dictate the price in the short term on any given day. That is why where negative sentiment comes out, uh, you know, bad news revolving around this whole illness comes out, you can see AMC stock actually go down 5% in a day. It's not because apes are selling. It is because trading algorithms are lowering the ask on the stock. So that is basically all for this video, guys. That is in summary, the breaking news, why this is so good. It comes out to trading algorithms and a lot of trading programs are bidding up the stock. And this is likely to continue, like I said, throughout the next couple of days, if not the next couple of weeks or so so drop that like on the video comment down below subscribe to the channel turn on that notification bell all that good stuff check out the links linked down below in the description that is going to do it for this video i will see you guys in the next one